Hi, in this video we are going to learn everything about images, video and audio in HTML. To be honest, websites with only text aren't very fun to read. Because a picture says more than a thousand words. So it's important to add media to give your users the best possible experience. So let's go and have a look at the code. The first thing we are going to learn is how to add images to your website. We have to create a new directory called assets in which we will place all our media files. Pick an image you want to display on your website. I've chosen a photo of a cool cat. Select the image and copy it. Next go back to your code editor and paste the image to the assets directory. Now we are ready to display the image with HTML. The img tag is used to display images with HTML. The src or source attribute defines the path of the image file which should be displayed. We want to add the photo of the cat which we have just copied. So we set the source attribute to slash assets slash cat.png. If we open the page in the browser now, we notice that the image is very large. Too large to have a good view at the cat. So we are going to set the width of the image to 300 pixels. We can achieve that by using the width attribute of the img element. Cool, now we are able to see the whole photo. Let's play around a little bit by setting different width values. For example, let's set it to 100 or 10 pixels. As you can see, the photo will appear very, very small. We can also define the height value independently from the width value. This way, we can change the aspect ratio of the photo. If we set the width to 700 and the height to 100 pixels, the photo will appear very stretched. It's also possible to only define the height and not the width. Let's set the height to 100 for example. And the image will appear with a height of 100 pixels. Now we're going to have a look at the alt attribute. The alt attribute defines a text which should be shown if the image cannot be loaded. Make sure to always define the alt attribute to not confuse your users if your images cannot be loaded. To demonstrate the alt attribute, we change the source attribute to a wrong path, so the image cannot be found and displayed. Next, we are going to define the alt attribute and set the text to a cute cat. And as you can see, the text will appear because the image cannot be loaded. If we correct the source attribute now, the alt text will disappear because the image can be loaded again. HTML can also be used to display videos on your website. To display a video, first we need a video file. If you have a .mov video file, make sure to convert it to mp4 first, because most browsers cannot display .mov videos. Copy and paste the video file to the assets folder now. To add videos with HTML, the video tag is used. So let's add an opening and closing video tag. Within the video element, we have to define a source element. And the source element will have the source attribute, just as the image, which we will use to define the path to the video file. We can define multiple source elements for a single video, because the same video can have multiple formats, for example. In our case, we only have one format, mp4, so we define only one single source element and set a type attribute to video slash mp4. Let's open the file in the browser now and have a look at our video. Okay, the video is very, very large, so we have to reduce the width. We can set width and height of videos just as we have done it with the image. We can use the width and height attributes of the video element. So let's set the width to 800 and open the file in the browser again. Now our video appears in a reasonable size. We can also configure our videos to autoplay if we visit the website. So the user doesn't have to click the play button to start the video. To achieve that, 
we have to add both attributes autoplay and muted to the video tag. And if we open the file in the browser now, we will see that the video just starts playing. The controls attribute is used to hide or show the controls of the video player. Okay, the last thing we are going to learn in this video is how to add audio to your websites with HTML. First, we need a .mp3 audio file. And we want to copy and paste it to the assets folder again. Audio works similar to video. We have the audio tag and different source elements within it. So let's create an audio element and a source element and pointing to our music file. We set the type to audio slash mp3. We add the controls attribute to enable the controls of the audio player. Let's open the web page in the browser and play our music. So we have reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And if you like this series so far, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel to not miss any future content about learning to code. Happy coding and see you next time.